Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, September the 15th, 2011. Wanted to show you a quick look at the markets. Uh, here's the uh, chart of the uh, NASDAQ, a daily chart. And uh, it was up 1.3% uh, today. And it is coming up against overhead resistance here at this blue line. This is the 50-day moving average. Lots of traders look at this. Let's see what happens tomorrow. If we can clear this and get above, uh, that's a very positive sign. We have been up four sessions in a, in a row here. So four up days this week so far. And uh, you can still see that the 50-day moving average is stacking up below other key moving averages. So this is a bearish configuration. Uh, but uh, we do have the potential here to start uh, clearing some of these moving averages. And here's a chart of the S&P 500. It was up 1.7% today. Same story. Um, a little further below this 50-day moving average, though, but uh, well below all these key moving averages here. So S&P 500 still up four days in a row this week, but uh, not clearing these, uh, these moving averages, which incidentally are pointing downwards. And here's the small caps. This is the Russell 2000, and uh, up 1.3% today, well below the 50-day moving average. Trying to find a bottom in here, trying to get some kind of a rally going. Uh, we'll see what happens. And let's look now at a couple of the sectors and see if we can find any strength. Here is the XLE. This is the energy sector. No strength here. Still well below key moving averages. And here is the XLB, the home builders. Not here. Here uh, still well below the key moving averages. In fact, the same configuration as the general indexes. Just weakness down here. And here's a chart of the financials. Same story. Well below the key moving averages, so no strength here. And here is a chart of uh, technology, the XLK. A little bit of strength here. We got a close above the 50-day moving average, up 1.6% today. And closing in here on the 100-day moving average. So it looks like technology is, uh, is showing the most strength here and uh, potentially may lead the market higher if we're going to go higher. So something to really look at. And taking a look here at the uh, industrial sector, the XLI, up 2%, still below the 50-day moving average. And looking now at some leading stocks, here's Apple. Uh, Apple up almost to 1% today, uh, forming a cup here. And uh, you can see that it is above the 50-day moving average. And this is a bullish configuration where you have the uh, moving averages stacking up above each other. So Apple uh, holding, uh, holding its own here. And here's uh, another big cap leader, Amazon.com. Coming very close, about uh, 25 cents away from a new high here. Um, so Amazon looking strong, well above its 50-day moving average. Good configuration here. Um, got a sort of a V-shaped cup here. I don't like them when they're too steep like this, but uh, nonetheless a cup uh, shape uh, being formed here. Here's a chart at Chipotle Mexican Grill, one of the great uh, restaurant stocks out there. Uh, formed a cup here. Actually got a bit of a double bottom in there and is rounding out here and uh, two closes above the 50-day moving average here. So Chipotle firming up. And here's a chart of Netflix getting hammered today, down almost 19% on humongous volume. Uh, been in a nasty downtrend, uh, broke uh, through the 50-day moving average here on big volume in late July and has been falling ever since. So uh, Netflix are really, really looking weak. And here's Priceline.com losing one, a little over 1% today on fairly light volume and uh, struggling uh, to uh, stay above its 50-day moving average here. Um, a base on base pattern here. Um, a breakout would happen if it cleared um, this handle here of 549.33. Um, but Priceline sort of uh, uh, kind of getting a little bit erratic and, and uh, not my favorite chart pattern. And here's Baidu.com down 0.2% uh, today. Same chart patterns a lot of these are putting in, this sort of uh, double bottom cuppy type uh, shape here. A uh, couple closes above the 50-day moving average, uh, just kind of uh, putting in a little what I call a wedge. And uh, let's see what happens. If we resolve to the upside, um, that would be a good sign. Uh, but for now, it's uh, stuck in a trading range. And here's uh, one of the great uh, retail stocks, Lululemon. And uh, same chart pattern, this sort of double bottom cuppy type thing, um, but uh, clearing uh, these highs here and uh, trying to form uh, uh, the right side of a cup here. But you'll notice that volume is wedging down, so that's not a good sign. You like to see volume increasing as, as it starts to move up. But uh, Lulu, um, uh, 
looking somewhat impressive, getting some closes above the 50. And here's one of the great silver stocks, uh, Silver Wheaton, um, up about 1.3. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, 0.13 percent today. Um, bouncing here off of its 100-day moving average and clearing its 50-day moving average on a slight pickup in volume. So, um, you know, of course, Silver Wheaton uh, following uh, the weakness in silver this week uh, down, but uh, holding firm here at the 100-day. So let's see if we can get some strength here in Silver Wheaton. So that's it. Looks like the markets are trying to uh, to firm up here uh, with technology clearly leading the way. Um, the precious metal stocks are going through a bit of weakness as uh, silver and gold have a little bit of a, of a pullback here. Um, uh, there are some uh, uh, stocks looking favorable, uh, uh, putting in some nice uh, chart patterns uh, and uh, uh, could break out here. So let's watch this. Um, this could be a turning point for the markets at this juncture. But for now, um, I still think they're weak. Until we start seeing the indexes uh, firm up and get above their 50-day moving average uh, in, a, in a solid way, um, I think that uh, it's best to uh, be very cautious.